behind me is Sanford Hall. Sanford Hall actually houses the president of Auburn University along with all other administrative offices. It was originally the site of Old Main, which was the first classroom building here at Auburn University, but it actually burned down in 1887 and was replaced by Sanford Hall. The words on Sanford are actually areas that are filled with sand to prevent future fires from spreading. Right now we're up in the clock tower. This is a place where very few people actually get the opportunity to come. However, you can visit the downstairs lobby of Sanford and you can see the original face of the clock and the clockworks on top of learning a lot of history about the clock tower. The clock tower originally cost $1,550 and it took somebody every eight days to come and wind the clock. Today, it's completely electronic. Now if you look out here, you can actually see all of campus from on top of the clock tower. Hargis Hall has housed many different departments throughout its history. However, it currently houses the Office of International Education and the Office of the Graduate School and the Office of Study Abroad. Hargis Hall was burned down in 1979 by fire during its reconstruction and the steeple on top was completely demolished and had to be reconstructed by looking at photos. Hargis Hall precedes the construction of Sanford by only a few months. This corner, Toomer's Corner, is where the University ends and the City of Auburn begins. It is such a sight to see after any Auburn victory. It's a long time tradition for students to take toilet paper and come and roll the trees after any Auburn win. No victory is too big or too small to roll Toomer's Corner. We are now directly across from the Oaks at Toomer's Corner. Toomer's Corner is actually named after Sheldon Toomer, longtime owner and operator of this drugstore. This drugstore is famous for its handmade lemonades and limeades. Its lemonade is actually known as being one of the best in America. The Auburn University Chapel is the oldest building on campus still in its original location. Over the course of its years, it served as a Civil War hospital, a civic center, a YMCA, and has had many other uses. It is said that a Civil War veteran haunts the University Chapel because it has been used for other things other than worship. Today it is now open for public worship until about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. This is the Ralph B. Drawn Library. It is named after Auburn University's 10th president. It was built in 1962 and is second in size only to the Haley Center here on Auburn University's campus. Now let's go take a look inside. The library holds two and a half million volumes and has enough space for 2,500 students. It's been, it's been named by Princeton Review as one of the top collegiate libraries. I love to come and meet friends here to study. Hey guys. Hey. Sure. Right now we are located in Owen Hall. Owen Hall is in the lower quad. The lower quad actually consists of six residence halls and the upper quad consists of four residence halls. Each of the residence halls has two double bedrooms and is connected by a bathroom. The village, which is to be completed in the fall of 2009, will consist of eight residence halls. Each of these residence halls will be comprised of four single bedrooms, two bathrooms with a living and a kitchenette area. They will be called Super Suites and will house both freshmen and upperclassmen. 
Right now we are up on top of the Haley Center in the Eagle's Nest. The Eagle's Nest is the observation deck which is located on the very top of the Haley Center. The Haley Center was named after longtime Board of Trustee member Paul Shields Haley. It was formed in 1979 and houses the College of Liberal Arts and the College of Education on top of the Auburn University Bookstore, which is where you can get all of your game day gear and all of your school supplies. From up here you can pretty much see the entire campus. It is such a great view. Right now we are in the Auburn University Student Center, which was opened in the fall of 2008. I'm standing currently in front of the FOIA Information Desk. It has an internationally known number that you can call and they will answer any of your questions. It's been featured on the Today Show and on Oprah. On top of this, the Student Center also houses many different restaurants and venues and great places to come and study and hang out with your friends. Right now we are in Jordan-Hare Stadium, a place that I'm sure many of you have heard of if not already been to. It's named after Ralph Shirk Jordan and Cliff Hare, Auburn's winningest coach and a member of Auburn's very first football team. The stadium holds more than 87,000 fans and is definitely the place to be to watch the Tigers play every Saturday during the fall. Right now we are sitting at the Raptor Center in the amphitheater where educational shows are performed. You can find out more information about these shows on the Auburn University website. Right now I'm sitting next to Nadira, a Saker Falcon who is actually in the conservation educational portion of the program. The Raptor Center is a two-fold program, one being the conservation and educational portion and the other being the rehabilitation portion where birds of prey who are sick and injured actually come to be treated. The Raptor Center is also home to Nova, the icon of Auburn, the Golden Eagle, which circles the stadium every game before Auburn plays.